talk about that afternoon singles match, Miles, between uh, Federer and Nishikori. We are yet to have uh, a three-setter, and we thought that might come today because Nishikori has been playing so well, but he was a little troubled today against Federer, I think. Yeah, we, I, I, th I thought this could have been a cracker. It, it was early, in the early stages of the match, it looked like it might, it might be exciting. Nishikori had break points to go up. Federer was able to save them in trademark style with, with some, first, uh, some first serves in uh, and his usual aggressive play. And, and once Nishikori didn't get those, I just felt that, that he tightened up ever so much. And, and what, what Federer does to his op opponents, he makes them walk such a tight line, a <laughs> fine line between you know, going for your shots and really having to produce um, big winners and, and close to the lines. Uh, and if, but if you if you overplay that, the unforced errors start to flow, and then you get caught between. Well, if I if I'm too careful, then he's just going to walk all over me. So um, we actually went. Th we, were, we had a great seat right court side. Um, amazing to watch both players moving around the spins again. But it, it's it's just so noticeable the, the pressure. Federer puts on his opponents yeah. to, to make him they concentrate. Every point seems so important, and I think the, the pressure off overall was just too much for Ken Corey. The unforced errors started to flow, uh, and he just looked like he'd lost a little belief in himself. Yeah, great shame because we know what he's capable of, and we know he's capable of beating Roger as well. Arvid, you, you were watching with yeah. Miles as well. There was a concern he got the trainer on at the end of the first set. It looks like there was a the problem with his wrist, and that. If that is the case, it did seem to affect him uh, in that second set. Didn't yeah, it was quite noticeable towards the end of the second set, his serve, because uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure whether it was a, a shoulder problem or a wrist problem, but the, certainly the, the pace w was down. Uh, the second serve wasn't getting uh, as much spin on it, uh, not getting, uh, I suppose, as much pop on the first serve as we've seen throughout the year. And, uh, I mean, if you're, if you're just 5% off uh, against someone like Federer, he'll, he'll, he'll make you pay. Yeah, he will. And Federer looked pretty good to you, Colin. You were commentating on the match. Was, uh, would you expect anything more from Federer? Was he just really having to do what he needed to do to get through? Um, I think he did a bit more than that, but I don't think it was vintage Federer. I think he was uh, he played a very opportunistic match, which you come to expect from uh, someone that's won so many matches on the tour. He knows exactly when to put his foot on the gas and when to just you know play a little bit safe or whatever. But uh, as Miles said, Nishikori, a few too many errors, maybe lost a little bit of belief at certain stages of the match. The risk was definitely an issue. So a day to forget for Nishikori, but um, you know he's still in after that, yeah. that win in his first match. And Roger Federer looking in a very strong position to go through um, now and uh, make the semi-finals and hopefully for his, uh, his fans and for him to go further than that.